Thank you for trusting Budgeto for your financial forecast and budgeting needs. This is where success finds you. Budgeto is the financial management platform that small businesses use to create annual business budgets, adjust their monthly financial projections, analyze their performance, produce their financial reports, manage their cash flow, and raise funds. Budgeto empowers entrepreneurs all around the world. We've helped thousands of entrepreneurs control their business finance simply, quickly, and affordably. Do you use QuickBooks Online or Xero? Then by synchronizing Budgeto with an online account and software, we import all your financial data and automatically create a five-year business budget based on your historical account and data. Let's start our demo by opening a free 14-day trial with Budgeto. Click on the Start Free Trial button here. Then enter your name, email address, choose a password, select Keep Me Informed, and then click on Create Account. Then you have to choose from the following three options. Option one, startups are brand new and have no historical data. Option two, existing businesses have past historical data in the form of accounted information. And three, guest, which is for someone that you invited to access their company. For a brand new business with no historical data, select new business. Then enter your business name, when you plan on launching your project, in which state or province and country you are located in, and which currency you use. Finally, click on finish. Do you have an existing company in QuickBooks Online or Xero? Then select Existing Business here and select which option works for you. If you do not use QuickBooks Online or Xero, select the other none circle to the right and then continue as directed. At first, you'll be greeted with a quick introduction page that explains how to use Bigetto. An important note is that every Bigetto page has a contextual help drawer on the right. This help drawer contains multiple articles, how-to guides, and videos related to the menu that you are currently working in. You'll see this help drawer on the dashboard, sales menu, expense menu, etc. Give them a look and learn how to become a Bigetto Pro. Simply click on the orange question mark icon at any time to open the help drawer in most menus. Now that your account is created, let's enter an example of a sales product together. For this example, I am selling a custom bag. So I will call the product custom bag. I will add it into my sales department. Click on the plus icon here to add your own department names. So for example, here I'll add sales. A quick note, in the expenses menu, you can click on the departments, categories, and expenses button to access this menu. Here you can customize, add, or edit any department, expense category, or expense type found here. Everything that has a Bugetto logo is something that originated from the app itself and anything with a user-created logo is exactly that. It's content that was user-created. Next, my sale price will be $30. There will be a one-month payment term. My product is taxable. And a quick note is that the base sales tax is always modifiable here or within the account settings here. Next, I will leave my commission at 0%. My hypotheses are comments in relation to this product. These comments will not appear on my reports. It's only visible in this menu. So for here, I can add the name of the bag. So here I'll call it bag A1. Next, I will add a 50% cost of sale related to the product. So here I'll write 50%. You can also change the percent to the cost per unit, a cost per new customer, etc. I will leave it as a one month payment term after and it is taxable. Next, I have to navigate further down this menu to access the sales plan and grid. Here I have two choices of sales planning, the manual method or the growth method. The manual method is where I can add my own numbers per month and year, whereas with the growth method, I can add my own organic growth percent per month, per year. So for example, here I want to add a 2% growth per month with a starting base of 100 customers. Let's go back to the manual method for now, and I'll fill it up based on an average unit sold of 100 bags per month in the first year, then 110 for the next year, and so on and so on. Notice how my annual revenue here is calculated automatically. I can either enter my monthly units or I can enter my yearly revenue here and you'll see that the calculations are done automatically. So for these amounts, say I wanna put 50,000 for the first year, then 55,000, then 60,000, then 70,000, and finally 100,000. All my calculations are done automatically. Remember to always click saved when finished. If you have multiple products with similar descriptions, use the save and copy feature here. This will make a copy of your current sales product and then it will allow you to make minor modifications when you see fit. 
This is useful if you have similar products with different colors, sizes, prices, etc. This way you do not have to enter every product one at a time over and over again. Now you can see your products in the quick edit menu found here. You can always access the edit menu by clicking on the product name itself or the pencil icon found here to navigate back to the forms. All your inventory can be found here. So this is where you can plan your uh, manual purchases for your inventory or whatever else you need related to the inventory. For more information on how the inventory works in Pigetto, remember to click the contextual help icon here and then click on the article, How Does Inventory Work in Pigetto? This article will explain how to use the inventory menu in Pigetto. Next, let's enter an example of an expense. For this example, I am entering my rental expense. First step is to add it to my administration department. Next, I will select the office space category. If you do not see a category that best fits your need, click on the plus icon found here and add your own custom expense category. After, I will select the rental fee expense found here. If you do not see the expense type that best fits your need, click on the plus icon again and enter your own custom expense types to include within your expense category. Next, I will include a comment that says that my rent is due on the first of every month. The cost will be $2,000 per month. Frequency is per month. Starting in, let's select January of 2022. And we do not have an end time right now because there's no expected end in the near future. Payment terms will be 30 days after, so we'll put one month after. My rental expense will be taxable, so I'll click that. Finally, I anticipate a 3% inflation every year beginning in January of 2023. I will leave the hypothesis box blank for now. Next, navigate to the expense planning grid below. Here you'll see all your costs per month for the next five years filled out automatically, including the 3% inflation that I added earlier. Here you can make modifications where you see fit. Perhaps in 2025, you anticipate the rent inflation to jump to not this amount, but $2,500 per month, and the inflation rate to be now 5%. Notice how the calculations are done automatically. Remember to click Save when finish. Use the Save and Copy feature to make a copy of your current expense and then make minor modifications you need to each one. This is useful if you have similar expenses with different suppliers, sizes, prices, etc. This way you do not have to enter each and every expense one at a time. Now you will see all your expenses in your quick edit menu he found here. Use this menu to make quick modifications when needed. Remember to always click save at the end. You can return back into any expense form by clicking directly on the pencil icon here or by going to yearly or monthly view and then selecting the expense itself. Pro tip, if you use a support and accounting software like QuickBooks Online or Xero, then you can quickly sync your historical data with Bugetto in just a few seconds. Just make sure your subscription plan includes the bookkeeping software option here. Once you have successfully linked both systems, Bugetto's expense forms will be automatically filled out based on your historical data pulled. You will see all your expenses information here in the quick edit menu. Notice the 3% inflation for each entry. This is Bugetto's basic budget estimate. Make sure to review all entries and make appropriate modifications when needed. Let's enter an example of an employee together. For this example, I am entering an employee who will be hired as a salesperson. First, I am adding my employee to my sales department. Note, you can always add your own unique departments by clicking on the plus icon here and then adding your name. Next, I am entering salesperson as the job title, then the employee's name. So for this example, I'm going to use John Doe. Hiring month will be January 2022. Termination month is not expected yet, so we will leave it blank as never. Their salary will be $50,000 per year. Note, if you only have an hourly wage, you can use this calculator tool found here to calculate the hourly wage on a yearly basis. So for example, $23 an hour, 40 hours a week, gives us 47,840. Next, I need to enter the wage costs. This is directly related to your employee contribution percentage. You can change the default rate by clicking on the change default rate button here and then add in what you need. For this example, I will keep it 12.5%. Next, I'm expecting a 2% annual inflation starting in January of 2023. For the hypothesis, I will enter the comment to be hired in January 2022. Next, navigate to the salary schedule below. Here you'll see all your salary costs per month for the next five years filled out automatically. You can always enter any cell directly and change the numbers, and you can also change the percentages of inflation found here. The calculations will always be done automatically. Remember to click Save when finished. If you are budgeting for employees that have not been hired yet, so therefore you do not know their name, you can enter a temporary name here. So for example, new hire 
one or new hire two or employee name one, employee name two. Save your entry and then come back and edit your entry once you know the name of the person you are hiring. If you have multiple employees with similar descriptions, use the save and copy function here to make a copy of your current employee record and then make minor modifications where you see fit. This is useful if you have similar employees with different names or just a different hiring date, salary, etc. This way you do not have to enter each and every employee one at a time. If we navigate back to the employees menu, you can find a list of all your employees entered here. If you go to the quick edit menu, you can make minor modifications where you see fit. And if ever you want to go directly back into the forms, you can click on the pencil icon found here, or you can go into yearly or monthly and then click on the name here. After this, you can continue entering your capital assets, your investments, your funding, such as your line of credit, debts, share capital, etc. Let's do an example of exporting and printing our budget reports as a PDF or Excel file. To begin, you can find your budget in your reports menu here. You can choose up to five different types of reports, like your profit and loss, your cash flow, balance sheet, ratios, cost and funding. Play around with the level of detail and even enter a form by directly clicking on the blue hyperlink found here. Once you're ready to print your report, navigate to the export menu here. Click on the blue button, add a report. You can add up to five different types of report in Vigetto. You can select multiple budget types to be printed out. For example, if you have pessimistic, optimistic, realistic, etc. However, the unlimited scenarios option must be included in your subscription plan to use this function. Next, you can choose your different start and end dates, and you can even add historical data to your exported report as well. If you use QuickBooks Online or Xero, then you can include all your historical information in just a few clicks. Check out our knowledge base found here for more information about important historical data into Jetto. Choose if you want your report to be in a yearly or monthly view. Note, if you export your report as a monthly view, then it might take a little bit longer to download since it's pulling a large amount of data. Finally, select your detail level. I recommend full as you'll get the maximum amount of information in your exported reports. Finally, Choose whether you want your report to be downloaded as an Excel file or a PDF file. Here's a quick example shown in both formats. Bonus tip! You can download and print Pichetto's forms and graphs by clicking on the printed icon found here. This icon can also be found in multiple menus as well as the analysis feature in Pichetto. Use this to include visual graphs in your budget and business plan. Let's do an example of sharing our company and budget with another user. Before we begin, make sure you have the option number of users in your subscription plan. If you do not have this option included in your subscription plan, you will not be able to invite multiple users onto your budget and or Jetto company. Next, click on the share button found next to your company name. Navigate to the text box below. Here, you can enter the email address of the person you are sharing your Jetto account with. This can be your investor, your accountant, coworkers, project managers, etc. Once the email address is entered, select their permission level. There are three levels of permission for Sharon, read, write, and manage. Read, the user can see everything can, but cannot edit the budget. Write is that the user can modify everything. And manage is the user can create scenarios and share the company with other users if the option is available in their subscription plan. So for this example, let's give manage. Finally, make sure you click on the save button near the top. So what's next? After you shared your Jetto company with another user, they will receive an email like this in their inbox with instructions on how to proceed. First step is to click on log into Jetto. Now they can enter all their signup information, but it's important that they need to use the same email address for their account creation as the one that was used for their shared company. Next, make sure they click the third option, guest. If you shared your company with another email or user and now wish to change their sharing permissions, you know, the read, write, and manage options, you can always navigate back to the sharing menu and then change their permission set here. And then remember to click save. If you want to remove or revoke someone's access after you shared your company or budget with them, again, navigate back to this menu and then click on the trash icon next to their name and then click save. To access Bugetto's knowledge base, Click either on the contextual help drawer here and then the article title, or you can click on the question mark icon found here and then click knowledge base or enter your question in the search bar here. Use the knowledge base to find many articles with helpful tips, tricks, explanations, screenshots, and videos. Thank you again for using Vigetto. We are excited to be part of your budgeting journey.